Hi, Barry Thompson from VoteMags.com. Today we're looking at the Sea Ray 355 Sundancer. This is one of 11 models in the Sundancer range, one of the most popular of all the 49 boats that Sea Ray do. And this is the first one to come into New Zealand. Now, you know, you go to a boat show, you look at the boats and the, and the wives say, oh, I love that boat, that's beautiful. And you look around, you go, yeah, but we're gonna put the rod holders in, where's the bait board gonna go? So what Sea Ray have done, They've made this into what I call the Chardonnay Pilly Boat. You've got the Chardonnay here around the beautiful couches and the lounges and the cockpit, but you've got a big transom area, and that's where you have your pillies. You can make this into a really serious fishing boat as well. Boat's going in to get some mods done. It's getting a couple of staples at the back. It's getting a bait station, bait board, and a gas barbecue, and overhead, a rocket launcher, and a few rod holders. So he's got what he wants. That's the pilly part. And the wife's got what she wants with the Chardonnay. As I said, big boarding platform. I was teak on here. So, you know, you do your fishing from here and you put some sustainer steel staples, some rails around here, you can lean in here, bait board in the middle. And, you know, I can just see myself bringing a nice nine kg snapper in here. Worked perfectly. Okay, now we're in the Chardonnay area. So you've got the table here, nice dining area. You get six people around the table, big lounges here. So you're sitting out here in the sun enjoying an afternoon when our man's on the back deck fishing. And everything else is handy. You've got drink holders that, that are at hand. And what I like about it is we've got this galley over here. So we've got a Kenyon barbecue here, stainless steel sink, hot and cold water, of course, and a coronary bench top, fridge underneath, and plenty of storage. So this could be really well utilized in the right weather. This would be where you do most of your cooking. This table actually drops down to form one big squab or berth area. Now what the owner of this boat's doing is he's extending the hard top with a soft fabric and he's putting clears all the way around. So this whole cockpit area will just be an extension of the cabin inside so it really makes a whole lot more use of the whole boat. One thing I've noticed on American boats particularly is they there's a big emphasis on making the dashboard and the faces look like you're in a sports car. And Sea Ray, no exception. Firstly, the seating. You've got standard seating, got the bolster, and stand up. But very comfortable seats, and they're all adjustable as well. The dashboard is huge. We've got all the instrumentation that we ever want for the engine. We've got the Raymarine Hybrid Touch and the Smartcraft Vessel View Management things, the Bennett, Depth Sounder, trim tabs, all the switches, everything's easily at hand, it's, nothing's too far away. Good wipers, I tried those today, they worked really well because it was raining when we were out there. All in all, a really comfortable, good driving position with great visibility all around. And another cool feature, overhead is this oversized sunroof, which lets in or takes out as much natural sunlight and outdoors as you want. So if it's raining, just bring it back, close her off, nice and protected. Now if there's a party going on the cockpit and you think, oh, I want to get to bed. Well, it's quite easy. Just come down here, it's accommodation area, and slide this shut. Right, we're down in the accommodation and lounge area, below decks, but what Sea Ray have done is got good little natural lighting coming in here. There's a port either side, two overhead, and of course the natural light coming through the companionway. A bar area and a food prep area. Got a fridge under here, storage, and a, and a, uh, a stainless steel bin. But you could easily put a microwave on here. Now over on this side, we've got the dining table, which folds in half, so it gives you a bit more space. There's your coffee table. Nice lounges around here with storage under. Another berth for a small child, that would be great. What's really nice about this area is it's light, it feels quite spacious, and I think it's helped too also by the soft furnishings as well. We've got two accommodation areas, one aft, one forward. So this berth here is the one underneath the helm. The berth here, huge. Any room on here for me. A little bit of ventilation coming from the side, both sides, so it's not too claustrophobic. Now both the cabins share the one common head and shower area, which is really large. So it's one big moulded unit, the whole en suite. Got a seat there to sit on it if you want to, stand up. Good headroom, 
come out here, you've got a nice little sink unit with corrugate around the, the surface here. Again, ventilation and a port and the toilet. Plenty of room and a shelf up here to put your gear. Sundance 355 has a luxurious full master up forward which features a large island berth and storage lockers both sides. There's opening ports either side and of course a port overhead. Now you can actually outfit this with a nice big flat screen TV if you want some entertainment and some private relaxation. So uh, it's actually a really nice area, it's bigger than I thought it would be. So that's the C-Ray 355 Sundance. It's a really nice addition to the C-Ray Sundance range and a really suitable boat for New Zealand conditions. What I like about it too, it's got the ability to turn from a cruising boat to an overnight boat to a fishing boat. It's all there in one package, so it's sort of going to suit the whole family. Now this boat was powered by a pair of three litre Mercury VW diesels and that gives a top speed of about 35 and a good cruise of about 25, so that's all you want. Nice and economical to run. So if you're looking for a, a sport cruiser, then something like this Sea Ray is going to be right in the money.